All right, guys, welcome back to again another video, Ultimate Learning, and we're out here in a hot, hot day. I'm baking, it's like 30 degrees, I'm sweating, man, but you know what? That's no excuse for science. Um, after our last experiment, we put some Group 1 metals in water. We had a fantastic response to that, so thank you to all of you out there who liked, commented, uh, shared the video. Yeah, it did really well, so I just thought today, why not come back with part two? And what we're gonna do today, we're gonna put some sodium, We're gonna put some sodium into some water. Now remember, sodium is an alkali metal, fairly reactive, it's just underneath lithium, so it's more reactive than lithium, but not quite as reactive as potassium. And if you can't remember that video, just tap the link up here and you can watch when we put lithium, sodium and potassium in water. But what we're gonna to do today, I'm gonna to take a chunk of sodium and just chuck it into some water. Let's see what happens. So guys, look, here's my chunk of sodium metal. It's like a greyish white metal. Um, yeah, you know, you can bend it. It's fairly malleable as well. But remember that when we put this into water, it creates hydrogen gas. And if the hydrogen gas is ignited, then boom. of this reaction. Look what it's done to the bottle. Completely broke the bottle. I've had some good times with this bottle. We did the liquid nitrogen rockets, we did the elephant's toothpaste, but it's time to say goodbye to my bottle. 